Hello, my name is Megan McAllister and the topic I have chosen for this PIDP 3240 Enhanced Media Learning course is Teaching and Learning. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about how to leverage personal technology in the classroom. I will be referencing this course's textbook entitled Teaching Naked how moving technology out of your college classroom will improve student learning. And this text is by Jose Antonio Bowen. I chose this topic because I want to learn more about how to work with students um, who inevitably will be using their laptops and their cell phones. I um, don't have a lot of experience in that area and I chose this topic to learn more about what other instructors do to manage or leverage um, using personal technology in the classroom. And so I will be talking about um, just bring up a few facts that I learned and three tips. So the question at hand is, as an instructor, what do you do with the technology that students bring to class, um, such as laptops and personal cell phones? I learned that um, students actually don't multitask. Uh, they um, can move uh, from one task to another very quickly, but doing two things well at once is, is proving to be just not possible. Uh, so another fact is that it is really challenging to, um, to have students stop using it. Um, a third fact is that it's very hard to you know, enforce the rules around the use of technology in the course. Um, one thing that I'm learning is that respect um, is very important and uh, as an instructor if you're uh, trying to enforce uh, the rule of no no technology use and if if that's not um, successful you will be losing the respect of your students and and that's uh, that will that will be an issue and so I want to just discuss three tips um, that um, this author um, talks about um, and the first one is, is around that theme of respect. So um, respect students enough to make um, the class interesting and worth the time to stop texting. Uh, so this is around um, making sure that your classroom is in fact in um, engaging and interactive and interesting. And uh, in that way, the students won't be um, bored or, you know, turning to their personal technology, um, just a way is, uh, of getting through the class. Um, and so one idea to find out if your class is engaging and interactive and, and interesting is you can follow students on Twitter and just kind of see what's being uh, tweeted about your, your course. And um, hopefully uh, they will be um, tweeting something great about your course. <laughs> um, a second tip is make some use of technology in class but have consistent policies. Um, this shows that you you get it, you know, as an instructor. You understand how um, sharing an experience is, is so important to students. Um, they, they really want to know that um, yeah, you get it. And so uh, some ways to do this is um, you can um, have students research a topic and it's best to use a topic that will um, will elicit different um, information, um, different definitions, uh, different opinions even and have the students research using their um, their phones or their laptops and then come back and discuss the findings um, what did uh, what was found and um, and so uh, this so asking the students to find information um, you can use this as an example and dialogue opportunity um, you know of the conflicting facts and this will um, 
this will really um, highlight different standards of information. Um, so the third and last tip that I want to um, cover is um, the tip around making a contract with students to turn off all laptops and cell phones periodically. Um, and just this encourages them to just be present um, without distractions. Um, so focused dialogue and, re and reflection without distraction is actually an important lesson in, in everything that we do. And, um, and so linking this periodic no technology um, time um, kind of is a healthy, healthy rule. Um, and, um, and I just, yeah, I think that's a good tip as well. Um, and so one, I, one idea is to, again, um, you, you know, allow uh, um, for students to use technology like for a writing writing activity, for instance, but then again coming back and having um, time without it um, to reflect and, and to share. And so that's all I um, want to cover in this video today. Thank you very much for listening.